Sharon and I are going to demonstrate a partner lumbar rotation exercise. Although it's called the lumbar rotation exercise, if it's done the way we suggest you do it, it's actually a thoracic rotation as well. Now we've put the camera up really high so that you can see all the essential details. So the step one is Sharon's going to lie herself down and just get into this, the first part of the stretch. Notice that she lifts her hips across and she's in a position something like this. And if you look down the body here, you'll see that because this hip has moved underneath, the stretch is actually occurring through the lumbar, lumbar area all the way into the thoracic area. So this is my task. I align myself here like this. I hold this shoulder down by leaning my weight above it like so. Bring this leg into position and put my hand behind the sacroiliac joint like this and with my forearm roughly level with the floor. Then I tap on the hip like this and I ask Sharon to push the hip back to me. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. I take my hand off a little way. I, she takes a breath in and on a breath out you'll see how she's got her hand hooked behind her knee. She pulls the leg across which takes the pelvis further that way. And I then, once it's in position, I then put my weight here so that she can stay in position without any effort. Now breathe in and out deeply. Okay, when you're ready, straighten up and I'll go around to the other side. The same again. She lifts that bottom hip underneath. If you don't do that, the back will be hyperextended and it could be quite uncomfortable. Then I lean, my hand position can be like this or like this, whichever feels most comfortable on her shoulder and arm. And this arm is in this position like this, as close to parallel to the floor as I can get it. I tap the hip, she presses the hip back to me and I restrain that. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop, relax, breathe in. Make sure your fingers are wrapped around in behind the calf muscle and pull the leg across rather than pressing it down. That's critical, especially if you have piriformis syndrome. And then the hand goes back here. So notice that I'm not taking her into that stretch position. She's doing it all by herself and breathe. How does that feel? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Couple more breaths. Excellent. And then she brings herself out of that position. Notice she shifts the hip across again. And then when you're ready to you can sit up. There is another aspect to this as well. If when the person is in the rotation position, they complain of a pain in either hip from having the leg pushed down to the floor, you can put a cushion underneath the knee and that helps a lot. I think you use that quite a bit in the clinic, don't you? Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Try it.